Hello, this is Faith Chi. Welcome to my video. Here I'm showing you a sampler I hand embroidered a few years ago and it includes embroidery stitches from the 18th, 19th and 20th century. So there's some pretty old stitches there. This sampler I did is called Dragonfly and Strawberries. I stitched it on some hand dyed purple calico, which I did, and I used a palette of colours, warm colours golds, oranges, reds, green, some silver for the sparkly wings of the dragonfly. If you like I can show you some of these stitches. Just leave me a comment below. With some of these stitches here, I've they're brand new to me, so I tried them for the first time here. The lattice couching stitch, which is the fill-in of the strawberries, that's a brand new stitch. And the pico stitch of the strawberry, um, the green strands of the strawberry. That was, I'd, I think I did that a couple of times before attempting to do it on the sampler. Satin stitch is quite a, a popular one, so I've done that before. This is the Pico stitch, right here. They are so cute how they stick up like that. They're detached from the from the top. You just attach them at the bottom, and you use a pin to to weave them. It's very easy to do. This is a long and short stitch and French knots for the flower. Here's my dragonfly. I'd always wanted to stitch one of those and this is my first dragonfly. I gave him some lovely metallic green sparkly eyes as well and some lovely satin, some lovely threads with a satin sheen for his body. The wings are such fun to do. You do them freestyle. <clears throat> Here's a lovely metallic thread. Um, sorry, a satin, a satin thread. Has a lovely sheen on it. I can't remember if that is a padded satin stitch, which means it's a little bit raised off the fabric background. There we have the right colour, finally. <laughs> the daylight was a bit grey.
I started stitching that in the summer of 2014. I took all my sewing things outside on the patio and I sat there with the dogs and I sewed and I have um, I copied some of the stitches from the the series of embroidery techniques the books by Gail Marsh I've got the 18th century one the 19th century one and the early 20th century one beautiful books You might be able to pick them up second hand. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. I always look forward to seeing what you make. Take care. Bye.